When the LME7 burner control goes into a lockout condition, there are up to three ways it can be reset. The first, which is available on all installations, is to simply use the onboard info or reset button. Press this button and hold it for one to three seconds, then release. It's common for people to press and release too quickly or to press and hold the button too long, waiting for the lock code to clear. Neither of these will actually reset the unit. Simply press and hold for one to three seconds, then release. You can see this unit has now been reset and is going back into a call for heat. A second method to reset the unit is using the AZL remote display when it's available. Now, in this case, you do press and hold the button until the display gives you some feedback. So press and hold the reset button here until it says reset, and then let go, and that will reset the LME. Now, the third way is not available on every single installation. Every LME7 includes a remote reset terminal. It's this X203 pin 1 right here at the top. In this case, nothing is wired to that terminal, so there's no remote reset option available besides the display. In this case, you can see there is a wire coming into X2031, and what that's connected to in this case is a reset switch or button. That's simply a contact closure to, closure to neutral, and the provider of your equipment may have used that with a PLC output or a button or a switch of some sort. So you can also reset the unit using that in the same fashion. Thanks for watching and have a great day.